I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Benjamin Throw, which is a beautifully textured and weighted throw. Uh, it is worked primarily in uh, one stitch pattern called the Moss Stitch. I absolutely love it for blankets and what makes this blanket unique is how it plays with color in these four beautiful color stripes. It features a simple edging on each of the shorter sides of the blanket. The finished blanket is approximately 50 by 62 inches. You're going to need five different colors. Uh, I've worked my blanket using the Heartland yarn by Lion Brand. My main color is this lighter color called Acadia. And then I've also used two balls of each of the for each of the color stripes. So two balls for uh, the first color, color B is redwood, and then two balls of Glacier Bay, two balls of Black Canyon, and two balls of the Canyon Lands. So you'll need five colors in total. Uh, each of these balls of yarn uh, has about 250 yards. And again, for your main color, you're going to need six of these balls. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to say hello down in the comments and uh, feel free to look around. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and free stitch tutorials. Now our blanket today is worked in rows and it's worked in rows width wise. So along those shorter edges, what we're going to do is start by taking our color A, which is my Acadia color here. And we're going to begin by chaining 235 chain stitches. So chain 235 chains. Once you have your 235 chain stitches, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Your chain three at the beginning also counts as a stitch. You're then going to work one double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you've worked a double crochet in each stitch all the way across, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to begin row two with a half double crochet into your first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to work front and back post double crochet stitches around the posts of the next stitches. You're going to begin with the front post double crochet by yarning over, bringing your hook in front of your work and inserting your hook around the post from front through the back, out through the front of the next stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the next stitch, so yarn over, Bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook from back through to front, out through the back again around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two more. You're going to repeat that all the way across. So front post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next. Repeat that all the way across, uh, ending with a half double crochet in the post of your final stitch, which is your starting chain three. At the end of row two, you've come all the way across, you work your final back post double crochet, and then a half double crochet into your final stitch, which is the top of your turning chain three. 
You're then going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work four more rows uh, of your row two. So half double crochet into that first stitch, followed by a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, and a back post double crochet around the post of the next. Repeat that all the way across, half double crochet into your final stitch, chain one and turn. So once again, repeat row two, four more times. So you're going to have a total of five rows of front and back post double crochet, and then meet me back here. At the end of row six, you have completed the edging along the one side of your blanket. You're now ready to continue working the body of the blanket, which was worked primarily in the moss stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, continue working in your color A for a little bit, chain two, and turn your work. We're now going to skip the first stitch, which is at the base of your turning chain. So skip this stitch, into your next stitch, work a single crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch, into your next single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into your next stitch chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next stitch. All the way across where you should end with a single crochet in your final stitch. At the end of your row seven, you'll chain one, you have one stitch, uh, skip the next stitch, one stitch remaining, which is your half double crochet and single crochet into the top of that stitch. Then for row eight, we're going to chain two once again and turn our work. This is now the repeat row that you're going to use for the rest of the body of your blanket. You've chained two, you're going to skip that first stitch and single crochet into the chain one space, into the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the next chain one space. You're going to repeat this all the way across and then chain two turn your work and repeat once more. Using your color A, you are going to repeat this row eight until your work from the beginning measures approximately 15 inches. So you want to work 15 inches in your color A and then you are going to switch to your color B. I'm going to continue working across my blanket and then I'll show you how I like to change color at the end of my rows and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'm just here at the end of my row eight and uh, you've come to your final single crochet and then you have this chain two space. So I've single crocheted into the chain one space, chain one. You're going to skip your next single crochet. And then if you are not changing color, you'll simply single crochet into that chain two space, chain two, turn your work and continue working. So with this first color A, you're going to work until you have 15 inches and then you're going to switch to your color B. I'm going to pull back a bit and just show you how to switch to your color B. So when you're ready to change colors, you're going to chain one, skip that single crochet, you have your chain two space left. You'll insert your hook into that chain two space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You can then drop the color A, pick up your color B, 
Sometimes I like to use a slip knot, especially if it's at the end of the row. Uh, it just makes it a little bit, little bit more secure. It's really up to you. Sometimes I don't. Um, but you're just going to place that color B on your hook and then pull through. You can then fasten off your color A, chain two in your color B, and turn your work. You'll then continue repeating row eight, so skip the first single crochet, single crochet into that next stitch, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the chain one space, and so forth all the way across with your color B. As you are working the blanket, at this time you're going to want to grab a hold of the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And as you're working, you're going to work your color A for 15 inches. Then with your color B, you're going to work your color B and every other color stripe for about seven inches. Okay, so this blanket has four different colors. 15 inches of your color B, seven inches of your next color. In between each of your color stripes, you're also working five rows of your color A, just to kind of separate them out a little bit. So uh, I'm going to leave you with that. Grab the written pattern, 15 inches of your color A, seven of your color B, then five rows of color A, then you're gonna switch to your color C and so forth, uh, all the way to the end of your blanket where you're going to finish off with your 13 inches of color A followed by your uh, double crochet ribbing on the other side. So go ahead, grab that written pattern and uh, use that to follow along for your measurements. I just thought it would be easier than counting uh, hundreds and hundreds of rows to go by inches. And, uh, and then that's all there is to working this blanket the Benjamin throw. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I look forward to seeing your finished blankets. Don't forget to say hello down in the comments and subscribe so you never miss a new free crochet pattern. Until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.